Hi everyone, I'm Wendy and this is my first video, um, fashion video blog. So I'm a little nervous, but um, I wanted to share a couple of outfit suggestions that I put together. And the key feature of our show is going to be knee-high suede boots. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I've been looking for a great pair of suede boots for the longest time, and I just didn't find any in the market that I really liked. So I went on eBay and did a you know, research and a little bit of investigation. And I found a pair that just, ugh, I knew it from the moment I saw it, that these were the ones I was looking for. Ta-da! <laughs> they are Elizabeth and James. Uh, they have a, just a very beautiful, beautiful ruffle detail in front. It's kind of unique, yeah, because it's really smooth here. It has uh, some ruffle details. They have cute little button details um, on the side, and it expands a little bit to conform to, I guess, the different um, calf uh, width. And there, oh. I basically, whenever I put my boots in my closet, I usually probably pin them, so then they'll stick together. I don't know why. These are five inches, a cone shape heel, and they actually have an inch platform inside. So technically they're about four inches, you know, and they're quite comfortable. Um, they have very well, they're well, well padded inside. Um, yeah, so I went to a cobbler. Did you know that shoe repair shop is called cobbler? Okay. I went to a shoe repair shop and had them place like a grip side to them. So then now, I can comfortably wear them without being afraid of like stuff like slipping and falling and all that good stuff, huh? Um, yeah, but they're really comfortable. They're very, very hardy. They're like really thick. Like you can feel that it's heavy and it's very substantial and it's very thick. Um, and they're just a beautiful pair of boots. They're actually, they call it wet leather uh, because it looks much more distressed and it looks much more worn in um, than. Uh, the average softer leather look. Okay, so now we are going to play with a couple pairings with the boots. And suede, I tend to, okay, see this is why I hair clip them. Because look, now they fall off. Where'd my hair clip go? Oh, here there. I'm back. <laughs> I was gone for a couple seconds, but I'm back, okay. Um, suede, it's a material that's a little bit um, on the heavier side, so I like to pair suede um, during late summer to even late fall. Winter, uh, going into spring, if you live in an area that rains a lot, suede's usually not very good for that. It ruins the texture on the outside and it just ruins the composition of suede itself. So be very careful, make sure you rainproof um, all of your suede, your jackets, your uh, bags, you know, all of suede stuff should be rainproof. So if we're talking about uh, late summer to early fall, a nice pairing with the boots would be, you, you know, like a little, a little sweater dress. And this I got uh, on eBay, again, for a bargain. And it is by Twinkle by Wendelin. It's actually really cute, very cozy. Another good pairing with suede is a bohemian dress. It kind of brings to the, um, the nature vibe, you know, not restrained by city life and, you know, nature chic almost. And this is a dress by Joey. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. It's J-O-I-E. Um, and it's really soft, great material, and has a beautiful um, parsley print on it. So, that'd be really nice. And then, this is actually my favorite pairing. I love, love, pairing brown with green. And I have a green jacket. Um, I got this on Gilt, and when I got this, I didn't know how to put it on because it had all these like zippers and buttons and more buttons and a hood. 
a big hood. But green and brown, and I have a pair of brown skinny uh, jeans that I would pair them with it, right? Um, green and brown, it's just so beautiful together. It happens in nature all the time. It's just beautiful. I love this pairing. Very earthy, and it, it's very, and also olive, um, a, a medium to dark olive shade actually gives a very tan complexion for anyone who wears it. So olive is a beautiful color for, it's a classic piece for any wardrobe. It gives you a nice, you know, tan look, which is great. So this is our first outfit, and it's the sweater dress that we were looking at. And it's really heavy. It's actually really, really cozy. It's really heavy. And I think because of how thick it is, it matches with the suede texture itself too, which is very hardy and very substantial. Um, so this is a great, you know, late, I would say, early fall look, you know, really late summer look. Something that you can wear where you still show your legs and you won't be freezing your butt off. And I really like the cut of the dress because it hits right where it gives me a good space between my legs and the boots, which really highlights the length of my legs. Because I'm sure as it is, I need as much leg room as possible. So if you're even taller, you can actually, and it fits higher, you can wear it with leggings inside. If it covers correctly, you know, kind of hitting where, um, where your, you know, kind of your bottom line is. Um, but you know, for me, it works. Okay. So this is our second look, which is the bohemian uh, dress um, it's very comfortable it's actually really big on the side so it's very flowy it's perfect for uh, a picnic in the summertime or even late summer or a, a date with you know your friends to the movies and everything and it's just it's a great piece um, the material is really soft so it feels nice against your skin and the parsley print really grounds it to give it more of a bohemian flair and that's why I like to pair it with the suede boots because it has that richness and earthy feel to it. So, here we go. So if you like it flowy, here it is. I actually like it with a belt because it helps clench my waist to give me more of a shape. So we'll do that too as well. And I got this belt, um, again on eBay for like $6, it's really cheap. It's a vintage leather belt. You probably can find this anywhere at secondhand shops or vintage shops or and if you want to, even a department store. Um, but it's very, very quick, just a braided belt. Um, I actually did not ask the seller how long it was and that's why it's so long, but it actually turned out really well. I got to do more fun stuff with my belt. Curl it a couple times and it's yours. more clench look, gives you me more of a waistline. A belt and any short tunic dress will give you a very nice waistline. Um, so it gives you a nice figure eight look. Okay, and I got a nice Mulberry Alexa bag to go with it. And I'm all ready to go. Okay, and this is our last and final outfit. And as you can see, the green and the brown just work so well in this beautiful harmony together. I look almost like a tree, right? Brown and green, yeah? Okay, this is a jacket that I had the hardest time trying to just wearing when I first got it uh, because it has all these buttons and it has all these, you know, things coming out of it and everything. And it has a hood. So I can do the whole show like this, just highlighting the clothes. And this, the brown bag works really well with, again, the green and the browns and the boots, the boots. <laughs> and this is a great outfit to wear. You know, I would actually, yeah, even into late fall, it's very warm. Lennon and a silk mix, it's by K uh, Nicholas K. Awesome designer. Thank you so much for letting me share my outfit recommendation and uh, for highlighting suede boots. And as you can see, suede boots are a great addition to any closet. It has a great oomph of material. Uh, the texture is just really beautiful and it works very well 
um, it's more of a seasonal base, but it works very well, I think, in late summer to late fall time. And if you have any suggestions on anything that you would like me to highlight or feature, please let me know. Okay, bye.